now, here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, we typically think of the month of October as having uh, cooler nights, the fall foliage really uh, starting to get those vibrant colors and we're seeing that except with some warm temperatures in the afternoon. Radar quiet across Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts. Well, we've had now more than a week of dry weather and it looks like it'll continue with uh, not much rain in the forecast through the end of the week. Looking out across the rest of New England and skies dry, quiet across the area. Uh, our foliage report for those average peak dates typically now early October to mid October for southern uh, Vermont, New Hampshire, mid October for the Berkshires, and it's typically later this month that we see our peak foliage. Now, we've been seeing some ideal conditions for vibrant colors this season warm days and cool nights. We want to try and keep big rain and wind storms out of the area as those leaves are changing. And then, soil moisture is another big component of it. It's helps the fall foliage to have a warm and wet spring. You think back to June, we certainly had our fair share of rain, and then having that uh, drier autumn also. So, so far we're on track for some great colors and we're starting to see pops of that as you uh, head out and about town. Temperatures already in the low and mid 70s here at noon. 72 Smithfield, 74 in Providence. Average high this time of year, upper 60s. We're going to top that by 10 degrees here today and uh, even warmer than that tomorrow. Lots of students taking advantage of it down at URI. Kingston campus, just abundant sunshine and that'll continue through the afternoon. Here's that future cast at 2 o'clock later on this evening and tonight. It'll be cool and comfortable for sleeping dry skies, but not the chill that's been in the air the last few nights. We'll spend much of the evening in the 60s and then eventually dropping into the 50s before dawn tomorrow morning. By 8 o'clock, the temperature climb, it's on. And we're going to see highs Wednesday afternoon uh, between 80 and 85 degrees for a high. Dry skies, sunshine will settle on about 77 for a high this afternoon. Northwest winds at 5 to 10 miles an hour tonight. 57. It's a milder night down again under mostly clear skies and then tomorrow forecasting a high near 81. It's summer warmth, but without the humidity and a little bit of a breezier day. West winds at 10 to 15 miles an hour. Good visibility on the Bay today if you're headed out 601 this evening. Your high tide. We just had a low tide about 45 minutes ago. Seven day future cast. We're going to keep the warmth through the day on Thursday. In fact, it looks like a beautiful kickoff to the Jack O'Lantern Spectacular Roger Williams Park Zoo. Mostly clear. Dry, mild conditions, temperatures in the evening in the 60s. Friday, I have a shower in the forecast. It's mostly after, say, 4 or 5 o'clock in the evening. There'll be some extra clouds around. Still a mild day. And looking ahead to the weekend, that shower threat may continue into the very early morning hours of uh, Saturday. And then I think skies will brighten up through Saturday afternoon. Sunday looks dry right now during the daytime, mid 70s. We're going to increase our shower chances as we head into next week. Don't forget to take the live pinpoint Doppler 12 future cast all of your breaking news and video with you. Just point your web browser to WPRI.com from any computer, smartphone or tablet. OK, thank you, Michelle.